Shelby's taking photos of water. Good morning and welcome to Tynanaga. This is Mohawk territory. This is the reserve right next to where Shelby's parents live. And uh, it's on a boiled water advisory. So Shelby's taking some photos of the water and doing some fun experiments with film. One week Shelby is leaving us to go to Banff for a month. She's got a big crazy residency to do there and it's really exciting, but it's also, you know, a little nerve wracking because it's a big deal. So she's getting ready for the, uh, for the residency in Banff and just doing a lot of material, shooting a lot and reflecting on everything that we've kind of seen in our trip, especially to do with water. What do you think? Did you get some good stuff? Um, it's just pet shots, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Did she already shoot it? No, I'm trying to get close. Oh. Uh-oh. What's it doing? I don't know, I shot it and it didn't come out. Sounds like it needs a double exposure. Do you think it's gonna be double exposed? That's exciting. Stole my lens? I used it. I've been using Sam as my uh, as my mailing address for the last little bit, which means that all my there. Amazon purchases, including my nice new lens, look at this. this are is on her nice. camera now. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, like look at that. How could I not use this? It's beautiful. You're a monster stealing all my stuff. So I look, didn't more try toys. This. It's I didn't like try Christmas. That. That's probably one of the best parts about living in a van is you paper. get Christmas stuff. Oh, what is this? I don't remember this one. But that I got is, a little miniature cute. quadcopter, my lens, underwater housing for our other camera, so look forward to that footage soon. Ah! Bye, old apartment. That's our old, that's our old apartment. Yeah. We're going to go see it, though. Yeah. Okay. We will visit it. <laughs> and she's still Ashley's back. Hi! We're back to <laughs> Ashley this time. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> This is where we parked the van the whole time we were working on it. Pretty much yeah. right here on Argyle every weekend because it's free parking. And now it's back, six months later. It's back. Another really interesting point 
Um, Ottawa and Canada in general has extremely expensive parking compared to America. We just spent about three bucks to park for 25 minutes. No, to park oh. pretty much. To park for a little less than an hour. Yeah. For like 40 minutes. Yeah, we paid two bucks an hour, or a buck an hour, or two bucks an hour on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> they can see everything. I'm pretty. <laughs> I see. I want to see what it looks like. You can never get. You can never get behind the fish eye. Let me see. <laughs> so you can even you... see the microphone. Yeah. So what do you do? You have to crop it in. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta go to DX mode. Oh. This is DX mode. So much nicer. Wait, Look do you hear that? that? Ice cream truck? Yeah. Wag my tail. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> I messaged like Rochelle and Ashley, being like, "We're in Ottawa." And, like no one's free, but then I realized that we're in Ottawa, so like we have things we can do. We know where we are. I'm free. And then I'm like, okay, there's so many things I want to do. At first I was like, what are like, we gonna what? do? What do, do? And then I'm what like, wait a minute, I want to go get a coffee from Bridgehead. Coffee. And like we went to LCBO, and I was like, I just want to like look at our apartment, and I want to like, I don't know. I was really excited because I thought the park was gonna be done being no. constructed. Oh no, it said November, which is November 2018 probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, fish islands. Hi. They're really close. Hold on. It's back there somewhere. Oh, the van looks so big with those lambs. Wow. Water housing. Because I want to try it out. You have a bathtub? It's Christmas. I get to try all my new cat, all my new toys. All right, let's go down the alley to our old apartment. I feel like I should be recording a skateboarding movie right now. Shelby, do a kickflip. Nice. <laughs> Sweet, it does look cooler on this lens. Hello, hello. Oh, hi. Long time no see. How are you? Good. What? I am I'm back for tonight. <laughs> back to say hi. Text this number and I'll come get it, like whatever you want. Ended up going and waiting like an hour and a half. Two hours for so them to give me a number so I can put it in online and get my T4. Okay, so this is, well, this is Ashley's apartment, but it is Basically. identical to our old apartment. Yeah. And it's just one room and a bathroom. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole place. Yeah. We used to live in an apartment just like this for three years. And then we moved into a van that was one quarter the size. <laughs> it's really not that, it's not that small when you think about it, it's just one quarter the size of this. This feels so big. Get you enough coffee? I think, I think that might be enough coffee. For a week. For maybe a week, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> new. new. Did you yeah, grind they, them all? They, no, no, none of them were ground. I didn't know oh. what you wanted them ground for. Yeah, We okay. can take a bag now and go. Yeah, let's go to Bridget. I want an ice tea latte. It's ice tea latte. What is it? This is like a giant GoPro case for our... Oh, whoa. It even has like a moisture sensitivity lock. That's really cool. This is for our point and shoot. Um, it's for the camera that we were using for the majority of our vlogs. Now we can take it underwater. This is like <laughs> seriously hardcore though. Oh, it's one of the first nice days in Ottawa. So we're going to take a walk and go over to our old work and get some Bridgehead coffee. So how to explain Ottawa. Ottawa is kind of like a government town. Some stuff gets done here eventually. Everything kind of moves a little bit slower. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow. It's like a million people <laughs> in this city. So it's not a huge, huge city, but it tends to have almost everything you need. Almost everything. Dogs. 
Ottawa is also kind of like a small pond. Like it's a great place, there's a lot of community, but eventually if you're in the creative field, you have to leave. So in a lot of ways, this is our small pond. This is where we started everything. And so in that respect, it's very nostalgic. So the next couple of days are gonna be filled with us doing all the things we used to do, visiting all of our favorite spots, seeing all of our friends. I'm really looking forward to it. This is our old neighbor. He's got a big ass house and some dinosaurs in there. You wouldn't believe it. Castle. He's a pretty good neighbor. Quiet castle. most nights. Uh, no. I would literally watch it happening. <laughs> Hello? There's no chance. Champ? <laughs> now we're at Rochelle's place. It's actually just around the corner. She's making. You want a beer or what? Yes. Beer, please. Beer me. In front of you. Beer what, is me. Is this your first day? Beer me. To the couch. <sighs> Alright, road trip is officially done. Beer in hand on the couch. This is, this is Corey. We got into film together. So basically Corey's to blame for this entire YouTube channel. We're I didn't do shit. Well, that's probably why there's a channel. <laughs> <laughs> probably. We're abandoning everybody else. Let's just go. Bye. Hey, there's a little mermaid. You have to find out where the turn is. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Awful. It's like going to a high school dance with alcohol. Now, if you ever come to Ottawa, you'll notice that the faux places are plentiful and most of them are all pretty damn good. And all right next to each other. And pretty much all right next to each other. Our favorite one is called Foboga La 2. And the interesting thing is... Even harder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, totally. It's the sequel to the original. And in the sequel to that one, they just built another one next to it. They didn't like move across town or anything. No, no, it's right next door. Love this place. Even my mom has joined us. Hi, mom. Hi. So, there's a few ways to eat pho. You can treat pho like it's original, just beef broth, meat, noodles. Or you can do like meat, get it dry, they toss in lettuce and coriander and other stuff. 
Some people just use their foes like a vehicle for hot sauce. Other people like to throw lemon and lime into it. But the cool thing about pho is, even a vegetarian pho actually, a mushroom broth pho. So basically whoever you are, there's a pho for you. And when we come, we just eat like crazy. This is a small. Yeah.